Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we got the Odyssey working and made our way over to Sand Kingdom and in this episode, we're going to explore the place, see what we can find. There's a shining thing on top of the tower so we're going to go investigate that and see what's going on. We're currently in Toastarina Town. Uh, it's mostly filled with locals. There aren't many places other than here that have locals in them because, you know, it's a desert. It doesn't have too much to it. But yeah, we find over here- where is it? Uh... Oh yeah, right here. Here are Bowser's footprints and he's heading over here. So this seems to be a pretty important place considering that A, Bowser's here, and B, something is shining atop the tower, which is the name of the moon that we're getting. Anyways, we want to capture this bullet bill and we can make our way across here quickly. You can either use the platform or you can just make your way across normally. I like how they give you that choice, so if you're not that good at the controls yet, you can just do normal Mario controls, but if you're confident with your ability to capture stuff, then you can do that as well. Right here we have another 8-bit section, which is pretty cool. As you'll see later when we get different costumes, we can- it'll look different in the 8-bit sections. You can use ZL to crouch or you can just hold down like in the old Mario games. So we just did an 8-bit section and we're about to do another. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with the controls right here. There has been a bit of like delay or lag as people call it nowadays. Uh, with the Nintendo Switch stuff that I've been noticing recently. That's not just me, like, blaming my badness on the game. It's just that, like, it actually has been a bit of a problem. Ah, crud. That was a weird bank shot sort of thing. So yeah, we just jump into one 8-bit section after the other. This time we have to we have to dodge bullet bills. It can be a bit tough at some points, but it, sh it should be overall pretty easy considering this is only the third world we've been in. The first one kinda doesn't really count because we didn't collect any moons in there, we just got to the end and fought a boss fight. But yeah, we got to the top of the tower and we got a moon. Atop the highest tower. So yeah, that's moon number one of the episode. I think we can get a couple more before the end. We're pretty early into the episode when I actually look over to the uh, timer. Moon shards in the sand. That's our next moon that we have to get to. And we have, uh, well, as it was just called in the description, moon shards, which when you collect five of them, I believe is the number, then you get a moon. It's kind of like silver stars from the galaxy games if you've played those. I don't know why I keep acting like these like really popular games are are like hidden games that are like only pl that not really many people have played. I guess I'm just weird. Yeah we could put Cappy- dang. Uh, we could put Cappy through those little arrow things and they can set off these laser beam machines. That was kind of m a mistake on my part. But we got a new capture. I don't know what these guys are called. Oh, Moai's. <laughs> it was right there. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's a piece of a power moon that we just collected. And these guys, you know, it says put on slash take off shades. And you're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like, all you can do is these guys is just put on sunglasses. But it actually reveals secret platforms. So right over here, if we walk here, we can just walk over it because there's actually a platform there that we just can't see with the normal human eye. We got shard number three. So I think there's one on the top of that tower over there, or maybe this tower, whichever tower it is. There's a shard on top of the tower and I think there's one over here in like the back mountains of the sand. Yeah, there's one right here. And I think I can just go as Mario for the rest of this section. I feel like those guys don't get util utilized too much. I wish that 
If they ever do make a sequel to Odyssey, I want those guys to be utilized more because I feel like you can do so many cool things with them. Oh, that was really close, that one. I think I actually have done that before, but you have to do a really weird trick. I remember like way back in the day, like before I had this channel, I made a video on how to do the impossible jump in New Donk City, which is a kingdom that we'll get to later. And I was recently trying to do it, and... But yeah, I was recently trying to do that jump, and I was like, how do I do this? Because I had completely forgotten. Because I lost my cartridge of the game a while back, and then for Christmas I got it again. And I was like, how do I do this? So I looked up my own video. <laughs> uh, which was, I don't know, kind of funny to me. But we've collected all of the, the moon shards. I think we, we'll end off this video in a little bit. We'll get one more moon and then I'll go ahead and end off the video. We have this moon number two. Moon shards in the sand. Showdown on the Inverted Pyramid. That'd be cool if we fought a boss uh, for the end of the video. That's kind of like, that's something we've been doing at the end of every episode so far, so I think we could do something like that. Feels like it's been forever since I recorded. Like, the most recent video I recorded was the intro video that I made. I didn't spend any time on the thumbnail. Well, technically I did, because... I forgot how to fill color into, because I don't use Photoshop, I use something called Photopia. And the way that it works, it's kind of like Photoshop, except it's got a couple of features missing. And so I forgot how to like color fill the entire thing. And I was just trying to figure that out, trying a bunch of different methods. Then I realized I can just use like the paint tool and like enlarge it really big, and then just with a couple of strokes, then I can easily, very easily do that. And so I did. I just put in my normal Comica title font. That's what it's called, by the way. I don't think it's on like Word or anything like that. I think it's only for Photoshop type devices. I'm unsure though. I forgot to mention, we were just through the inverted pyramid there. But yeah, it looks like we'll be able to fight a boss here, which is pretty cool. Up over you. I forget if there's another section to this, but I think we just go into the boss fight? No, there is another section. I remember this. I remember finding Al when I first got the game, which I believe was December 2017? Uh, I remember figuring out about the whole glitch, not glitch, I don't know why I said glitch, but I remember you could take a bullet bill, and if you crashed into one of these posts right here, you could land on the platform and it'd take you to a secret area, which I thought was really cool. I think it gives you a moon as well, so I might come back here to get an extra moon if I don't have enough to get to the next kingdom. Yeah, we've got full health after I just healed, and it's time to take on our next boss. Looking for the binding band chumps? Too bad, the boss has it now. You guys ain't invited to the wedding. So this is, I believe her name is Harriet, Harrietta, something like that. I believe it's Harriet. I think it might have said on the text box, but I'm unsure. I'll just have to correct myself in editing. But yeah, she's pretty easy. I don't know why I'm struggling with this, but yeah, she slashes down her little bomb thing. You can hit that with your hat. It knocks her hat off, and you can just jump on her head. She takes three hits instead of the two that we had from uh, the top hat guy. I'm completely doing this boss fight wrong. But anyways, we're just gonna wait here. She throws a bomb at us, we throw it back. Hop on her head. 
and we just need one more. This would have taken me a lot less short of a time if I wasn't just messing around. Plus, I gotta focus on commentary as well as playing through the game, so... That just... I've just been sucking at this boss... Okay, good. I thought I was about to not get that last hit on the boss, which would have been embarrassing. But we've defeated her. Now we get a multi-moon. I'll go ahead and end off the video after this. Showdown on the Inverted Pyramid. Hole in the Desert is our next mission, which we'll go ahead and cover on the next episode, episode 4. This is the first time that I'll split the kingdom into multiple episodes. But yeah, now it's nighttime and it's cold outside, which is normal, but I guess we'll just blame it on Bowser. But yeah, if I could go ahead and if Mario would stop moving. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and check out what's inside the hole in the desert under the floating inverted pyramid. That was the weirdest sentence I have ever said. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!